Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to a February monthly reading. So this is when we tap into the gemstone decks and the crystals, have it resonate with our energy and tune into us. And we're going to get messages from the angels. We're going to get messages from the archangels and we're going to get messages from the masters, mystics and saints using all the crystal gemstone decks. Uh, so right away, I already loved the crystals that showed up on the bottoms of the deck. It was like gold and purple or crown chakra and green. Um, just feels very look at this lucky um, abundant we've been getting a lot of readings like that to feel very connected and very abundant at this time um, so for this this is going to be for February whenever you find this for the month of February tuning into our mess into our energy just clear out to receive messages first from the angels resonating with our energy they know who is going to find the video this is for February what the angels want to bring forth for us when it comes to our mind, body, spirit, through the gemstones. What are the messages for February? Tapping into our mind, body, spirit, our energy at the moment. What would be beneficial for us to keep in mind for February from the angels? Okay, hold on one second. What would be beneficial? What do the angels want to bring forth for February? Tapping into our energy. What do the angels want to bring forth for Christmas? gemstones resonate with us for the month of February to keep in our minds and hearts. What kind of clear messages from the angels? Okay, right away, we're getting moonstone. Wow, we're getting moonstone. Are you in tune with the phases of the moon? There's a lot of moon action going on in February. Do you acknowledge your own cycles? Trust that your feminine side has much to offer. This means you're on the receiving end. You could be a divine high priestess now, very divinely connected with your intuition. I always call you the high priestess at work. Uh, trust that feminine side. It has much to offer. Go within to receive inspiration from the divine feminine. Your feelings and intuition speak the truth. Listen. So this could be a real time when you're really tuning in and you're almost the high priestess at work. Um, when they talk about divine feminine, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, you're on the receiving end of important inspiration, divine wisdom. Your feelings and intuition speak the truth. And that's what the angels want to say to you right now, that your feelings, your intuition speak the truth and listen. That's what's going to be coming in loud and clear, overriding all your other senses. You're going to feel like a divine high priestess at work. Um, and here we have the angel of the divine feminine. I honor the phases of the moon. I am aligned with the natural cycles of all life. My feelings are valid. I receive and use my intuitive insight and I trust my inner knowing and act on my feelings with confidence. And that is what has been coming forth a lot, that we trust our inner knowing. It's like our divine compass at this time. I kept on saying like all our senses, our clear abilities have been made more clear and amplified at this time because that's what we're really using the most even over our other senses and trust that inner knowing and act on your feelings with confidence so we're being driven by the divine feminine energy at this point that is overriding all our senses trust your guidance that's what we're running on they're saying listen and trust it and follow it You're, that's that's the way to go um, just like I always say, we're a divine high priestess at work. That's how the angels are saying, yes, trust that inner guidance. Listen and trust what you get. And now we're getting tiger's eye. Are you envious of someone else's good fortune? Are others jealous of you? This is interesting. Replace jealousy with happiness for another's good fortune. Blessings are being received all around. Anyone can create the same blessings with true and pure intention. It's up to you. So this is a time where you have all you need. You don't need to look at other people having more or envious or if people are doing that to you. Um, you don't have to feel bad or anything like that. It's like you're not taking away from anybody else's blessings. Blessings are being received all around. So anyone can create the same blessings with they're talking about stay true and pure intentions and that's been a recurring message for right now keep your intentions true and pure and they're saying it's up to you so we have angel of goodwill I am sincerely happy for the blessings in the lives of others. It brings me great joy to see others experiencing happiness. I extend blessings and goodwill to all. I am grateful for other people's good fortune. And this, us extending it out, this goodwill, 
um, it's almost like what goes around comes around. That's sort of thing that they used to teach me when I was really little. You know how we always say what comes, comes around goes around? They always said, so what comes around goes around, so let it be love. So always act with goodwill because that's what's, you, you'll receive that right back. It, even if not to the person that you extended it to, <laughs> you know, this is what I learned. It's like, you know, when you have in life where you're so good, you're so nice, but then that same person is not reciprocal in that way. But believe me, you around the corner, you'll get it received in another way. Um, and also, if you're not getting that goodwill from others, don't let it detract from your further giving of goodwill. Um, it's a going around. What comes around goes around. Be continually happy for others, the blessings for other people. Um, and they're saying extend blessings and goodwill to all. It's coming back to you um, is what I'm getting. So angel of goodwill, you could be really... Um, really act on, on goodwill and the angels are inspiring you to continue acting from that place. What goes around comes around. So there was a reason why they made me, I haven't repeated that, what goes around comes around, so let it be love. Um, uh, boy, I mean, 20 years ago. Okay, so let's get some more angels messages that would be helpful in February. So, so far it's the divine feminine and goodwill. It's like that divine feminine energy. We're being divinely used. So acting on what you get, what you know to be true, and it's outpouring of goodwill. That's what I'm getting. Also, we have Apache Tears. Are you grieving the loss of something or someone? And that's probably why this is the angels are saying to be this way, because we've been through a lot of Apache tears. Feel the grief and allow yourself to cry. Release the toxins from your body, mind, and emotional being. Comfort and peace are close at hand. Focus your attention on your de desired outcome. And back here again, they were saying to keep focused on the positive here. Um, there was something in here about focusing, I don't know where it was on one of these cards, um, about focus your intention. This has been a recurring message. Focus your attention on your desired outcome. Comfort and peace are closer at hand. So if you've been grieving the loss of things, you know, this has been very chaotic and tumultuous in the big stage, small stage of our lives. We're all grieving of something or something, someone missing. Um, allow the release of the toxins from your body, mind, and emotional being and to know that comfort and peace are close at hand. And again, we have angel of comfort. And in the, if you didn't see before, um, we had the quiet angel card come out in the spirit pick me up reading that you're surrounded by angels at this point to really provide additional comfort and reassurance at this time that that's a recurring message in all these readings and whatever card can possibly come out about angels around to give you greater comfort to help you through this time through any of the losses or the difficult times that we can release the emotions that we hold up in our body and our minds and hearts and know that they're trying to comfort us to move forward and past that to more peace and comfort and healing i allow myself to feel my feelings and express them through my physical and mental actions tears flow easily and i'm releasing pent-up emotions i'm able to let go and i am comforted i'm at peace so angel of comfort is here for us to get past and release the tensions the toxicity that we absorb the hurt the anguish everything we've you know to continuously do that they're helping us to release so be more in comfort and peace to be more of goodwill and blessings and an outpouring and it's a divine feminine so we are considered the divine feminine we're more receptive at this time, all our clear abilities. I always call you the high priestess at work. You're very intuitive, listen to your divine guidance. So that's what the angels are saying. Um, so we have the angel of the divine feminine, the angel of goodwill, and the angel of comfort for February. So these are the angels that are influencing us in February to be this divine feminine goodwill and more of comfort. And we have, yeah, 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 uh, cryo, I can't even pronounce this, cry. So priests, uh, I'm not even going to attempt to try and pronounce that. Um, but do you have a broken heart? Listen, are you feeling unloved? There's a lot about we're healing now. Our heart has been broken for various reasons, difficulties and hardships on the big world stage and in our lives. We have personal work. We have worldly things going on. It's been heartbreaking. They're acknowledging it. Um, but take the time to nurture yourself and know you are loved by the divine. And this is a recurring message. Open your heart and have more compassion for yourself and others. They literally have been making me repeat this in every reading that we need to have more compassion for ourselves. Um, we're a little easier with other people extending it out, but they were saying about being really nurturing and on your own side. Take a long bath, dream, 
drink plenty of water to nourish yourself. There's a lot coming through about us nourishing ourselves um, at this time. And they literally said in the other reading, like water yourself, like what, like picture you're a rose and you're in soil. How can you water yourself and provide more nourishment for yourself? Here we have the angel of nurturing. I'm cared for, loved and appreciated. My heart is open. I allow love to fill me up, body, mind and soul. I willingly nurture myself and others who truly need and want my nurturing. And so that is what the, if our February angels are here for the divine, embrace the divine feminine energy. Listen and trust your intuition and what you're guided to do. Be an extension of goodwill to yourself and others. Provide the goodwill of being more nurturing and compassionate to yourself and others. And prov it's providing that needed comfort. Um, we're being divinely used in that way. So that's what the angels are saying for February, how we're being divinely used, literally. Now let's tap into the archangel messages for February. What do the archangels want to say, tapping into our energy, how our energy is being used? or what we can keep in our minds regarding our energy in February. Okay, right away, we are getting endokinite, tectonite, tectite, endokinite, tectite. Have you been noticing that things seem to be happening unexpectedly? Uh, yes. Are old injuries coming back to be reviewed? It is time to dissipate the emotional charges, attachments, and expectations. As you heal, you heal those around you and essentially the planet. Be in the place of allowing and enjoy life. We had that recurring spirit message about making the best of it in the current. And they were saying in the current stands for in the energy and in the current, like in the present. So it is definitely, we're releasing. Remember these Hapachu tears? So look at these black uh, gemstones. We're really dissipating and releasing a lot at this time. All these uh, emotional charges, attachments, expectations, just to be in the current, make the best of the current. And as you heal, you heal those around you and essentially the planet. Because they're saying so within, so without. So this is internal and external, what we're releasing. Be in the phase, the place of allowing and enjoy life. And it is Archangel Sandalfun. I easily handle the unexpected. And we're getting better with that because everything right now has been unexpected, um, unpredictable for the last year, really. I stop, breathe, observe, and move forward with grace. Blessings come into my life seemingly from nowhere. I have unlimited potential and my possibilities are endless. And I have to say, if you're familiar with my channel, this is like word for word from what's coming up in all these readings, no matter what deck I use. Um, we're getting better at handling the unexpected. Why? Because we're more grounded and balanced. We're, we're being that counteractive energy with whatever's coming in. Whatever life is throwing at us, we're balancing it much better. We can handle the unexpected. We do the stop, breathe, observe, move forward with grace. Blessings are coming into our life seemingly from nowhere. Remember they said it could seem like miracles. Um, the clouds are parting. Obstacles are being removed. Um, and it could happen almost seemingly from nowhere. It's very unexpected. And they kept on saying adjacent possibilities. So much more is possible. Be more open to the possible, the potentials known and unknown. And here we have, I have unlimited potential and my possibilities are endless. And this is the Archangel that's coming through. Archangel Sendelson over and over and over, the Archangels are coming through of these infinite possibilities um, to move forward with grace. And we are, we're making the best of it in the current. We're handling it the best way we can in the current with all the unexpected. Um, as graceful as possible, as balanced as possible. Um, it's, oh, I would say they're almost commending us sometimes in these meetings. Um, that's, feeling I'm getting, but that they're blessing us with, you know, getting through this current um, the best way possible. And we have Archangel Jophiel, but let's see what the stone is. Copal tone, calcite, how beautiful. It looks like a heart. Are you in love? Are you craving health and feelings of well-being? Yeah. Become a conduit for allowing heaven and earth to meet at your center. That's what we're all doing. That's why we're receiving the divine feminine energy. We're very intuitive. We're being that outpouring of goodwill and nurturing for yourself and others for additional comfort. They're saying we're being used in the current, making the best of the current, literally. And we're being a conduit. That we're being that for ourselves and others at this time. It's a recurring message. Become a conduit. That's where we're a divine channel, they keep saying. 
Become a conduit for allowing heaven and earth to meet at your center. It is time to acknowledge the essence of the divine love in you. Remember that they were referring to you as that divine rose in the other reading. Um, take the time to nurture yourself. You can't make this up. Take the time to nurture yourself. Imagine yourself in the arms of the divine mother, divine feminine. Archangel Jophiel, I activate and embrace divine love. My emotions are balanced. That's what this Archangel Sandalfon was saying. We're going through here much more divinely and balanced and gracefully. I activate and embrace divine love. My emotions are balanced. I am clear and joyful. I am compassionate, wise, and tolerant. The qualities of unconditional love, mercy, and understanding emanate from my being. And that's what we're being blessed with because you're receiving, you're the divine feminine, extending goodwill, being more nurturing for yourself and others. You're providing a lot more comfort. You're being used for more comfort for yourself and others during this time to get through all this unexpected um you know, what's going on in the physical. And here they're saying, yeah, activate and embrace divine love. It's like you're a channel of divine love, a conduit of divine love. Um, that is just gorgeous. And the other one that just came out with it is Azurite. And it says, do you want to improve and trust your intuition? Do you want to improve on being this channel, this conduit, uh, as the divine feminine energy pulling in, being more receptive of this divine love? Do you want to improve and trust your intuition? Activate your third eye and exercise your sensory gifts. You receive messages from the divine all the time. This is what I've been saying, like all of the, our clear abilities have got more clear. You're constantly getting divine guidance, intuition, um, signs, symbols, messages. It, also, you don't even have to call it that, but you're just you just have a feeling to do something or you get a divine idea. You may not even have that kind of label on it, but you are receiving messages from the divine all the time. It is now time to notice the signs, interpret them, and use the higher guidance to create ease in your life. So it's time for us to like take more note of the signs, to be more in touch, to be more embraceive of being an actual conduit and feeling your way through that sixth sense, your all your senses, all your clear abilities to be more divinely used. And here we have Archangel Raziel. I am extremely intuitive. That's what they keep saying. All our clear abilities have gotten more clear to just honor that. My spirit guides and angels send me messages all the time. I'm grateful for divine guidance. My mind is clear and all knowledge is available. I awaken my consciousness. I am calm. I am peace. I'm at peace. That's And that's the comfort. So I would think also, I, I kept on saying, like, it's such a blessing at that at this time of such tumultuous times that we have been been blessed with a stronger divine connection, that we are much more intuitive, that our clear abilities have gotten more clear, that we do feel more guided, that we do have the counteractive energies running through us counter to what the energy of the world is right now. There's something else that's feeding us and, you know, it's divine love that we're feeling more connected to and we're being a genuine conduit of and is the stabilizer and the calmness and the grace that we need. And then it's also being used as a conduit for a additional good love, good love, it is good love, good love, goodwill, nurturing and comfort for ourselves and others through this time. So it is all through our intuition. It's all through our divine knowing, our divine guidance. It's a blessing. It is a blessing, a blessing, a blessing to be able to receive as the divine feminine, this kind of divine energy, divine love, and be an outpouring of it for yourself and others. And that's what the archangels and the angels are saying, especially for February. You talk about February being the month of love. Well, every month is the month of love, really, but um, it's so apropos, like for the February, it's all about divine love and you being a conduit of divine love in the times that we're in. And it's been a recurring message, but it's just smack in my face with all these cards. Um, you're being divinely used, and it's through your intuition and your connection and being an outpouring of divine love, being that conduit. It's, it's that goodwill that's creating nurturing and comfort at this time for yourself and others. Look at channeling courts. Yeah, be as clear as you can be with your divine channel. Um, do you often feel inspired? Are you using your inner guidance to follow your own sacred path? I kept on saying it's our divine headlights. It's um, That's how we're going on the crystal path, I kept on saying. Um, and it came out in that even in that light worker's reading. This is our divine compass. Uh, we're channeling. We're channeling our direction. We're channeling our... Um, 
we're feeling the energy through all our senses. There are almost no words. It's beyond just intuition or divine guidance or clear abilities. Um, you can feel energetically your connection and you can feel energetically when what you're following. I mean, we're, there are almost no words yet for how we're really embracing a different kind of conscious living. Um, you know, there's no words really give it justice, but it's channeling courts. Um, so do you feel often feel inspired? Are you using your inner guidance to follow your own sacred path? Remember they said we're all on a crowned sacred path. You are an instrument. Oh my God. They said that you are instrumental. That side spirit message was you are, are instrumental and an instrument being used right now. We're all being divinely used to be instrumental at this time and you're an instrument to be used. And here they're saying you are an instrument and a channel of knowledge and wisdom. So use this wisdom as you travel forward in your daily life to create, write, be, or do anything you want. Your potential is unlimited. Again, they're singing um, I have unlimited potential and my possibilities are endless. To, your potential is unlimited. Any deck I use, I, I, I hope that if you're familiar with my channel, I've been watching the last couple of readings, any deck I use, it has to say something about unlimited possibilities. Because um, we're channeling to infinite wisdom. You're a channel of divine love, divine wisdom. And as clear as you are, and an open receiver as you are, and you're extending that for yourself and others through good your goodwill and your, uh, um, your conduit for that, your nurturing and comfort is being, oh my gosh, that's what they're advising. Be more nurturing to yourself, first of all so that it enables you to be a more efficient conduit, I wanna say, because we have to really take care of our energies to be clear, to be in that receiving mode and have it flow out. But you're definitely part of this goodwill of extending comfort at this time. Um, so through this, all our clear abilities, this channeling ability is enabling us to get through this period with a lot more grace, a lot more balance, because I keep on going back to here and it says you can handle the unexpected and it's because of our clear abilities have gotten so much more clear that I keep on saying is a blessing, it's like our divine headlights, that you can stop, you can breathe, you can observe, you can move forward with grace. Blessings come into my life seemingly from nowhere. You have unlimited potential, possibilities are endless and it's for yourself and you're also um, extending that out for others and that's what they're saying um, wow you're an instrument and I would say you're instrumental and in being used they keep on saying you're being divinely used at this time so absolutely use your inner guidance to follow your own path you're an instrument and a channel of knowledge and wisdom and use this wisdom as you travel forward in your daily life to for your work you know how I always call you a divine high priestess at work that's what I'm saying. We almost have no words for this because this is not just when you're doing a good thing for another person. You're using this when you work, when you play, when during in your relationships, a kind word that you're doing in the big, in the small, in the quiet, in the public, in the private. You're, we're all being divinely used in so many ways. And um, so use this wisdom, use your connection in everything that you're doing right now. It's a lot clearer. You're getting divine wisdom and ideas. St. Christopher, I'm divinely inspired. This is why I'm rambling because it's infinite. It's infinite possibilities, potential, because you're reading all the, getting all this divine guidance, divine wisdom, divine ways to go, um, outpouring it. Um, you're part of that goodwill. They're asking us to nurture ourselves and others at this time, and it's providing us and others more comfort. You're like a divine channel, and it says I'm divinely inspired. I use the information that is delivered into my consciousness for the good of all. There is angel of goodwill. It's not just for yourself. Like when we're doing good for ourselves and nurturing for ourselves or trying to get through, it's it's um divine outpouring anyway. It's like going through us, we're doing it for ourselves and then it outpours. Do you see what I mean? Um, so here they're saying, I take positive action using the wisdom of those who have walked this path before me. I am a channel. You can't make this up. I'm a channel of love, light, and well-being. And that's what they're asking. Their angels and archangels are supporting us to be this. Oh my gosh. This is actually the Masters, Mystics, and Saints. Oh wow, that just came out of nowhere. I don't even know how this appeared. I don't even know how this card came out. I was on the Archangels. 
Oh my gosh, this is, I'm gonna have to rewind and watch this back. I don't even remember under getting this card. Um, listen, we are all being used as a channel of love, light, and well being. We just are, whether we're conscious of it or unconscious of it. Um, but most of our us are very highly conscious of it at this time. And that's the clarity. Um, that is the huge clarity that's being happening right here, right now. Um, wow, this is a lot deeper than I thought was gonna come through. Because if you're guided to this reading, you're really being divinely used right now. Your clear abilities are off the charts. You're channeling really divine wisdom and guidance and inspiration. <clears throat> and it's part of this goodwill. They're saying you have angels around for nurturing and comfort and to provide that as a sense of outpouring goodwill to others to be nurturing and comforting as well. Because when you're a divine channel, it's like this divine energy and love is going through you. So if you have angel or divine feminine, goodwill, nurturing, and comfort, that is what is coming in through you and outpouring. So a lot of what you're going to see, what people are being inspired to be a channel of, is more divine feminine energy more of goodwill, more of a nurturing stance, and one of comfort, right? It is helping us through the unexpected to go through with more grace and balance. It is helping us to activate and embrace more of divine love and be a channel of that. It's embracing being more intuitive. And almost those, uh, to such an extreme that you're a, li a literal living, walking channel of more pure divine love. So that is what the message is for this. That is what they're inspiring us to be. And that is what the times called for. But these are the cards. That's the message that they just wanted to bring forth. And so this is the card. And so when they were saying, it's St. Christopher here saying, yes, with the inspiration and everything else, I am divinely inspired. I see, I see the, I use the information that's delivered into my consciousness for the good of all. I take positive action. We're co-creating here, right? Using the wisdom of those who have walked this path before me. I am a channel of love, light, and well-being. And we're all being divinely used. So if there ever was um, a reading that is bringing home this, that we're channeling, we're, we're a walking, breathing, co-creating, um, being of a channel of divine love, um, especially right now during these times, that's the level of support that's trying to come through and for us to really drink in the magnitude and importance of your energy. That's what, that's what I just got. It's them. Yeah. That's what each one of us is doing. Okay. So let's get, uh, they want additional. So let's get, um, another master. Ooh, right away. We're getting Isis Quartz. Look at all this clarity. We have Channeling Quartz and Isis Quartz. Are you trying to make changes in your life? We're all going through huge changes. Are you willing to change the way you look at things? Open your mind to the, un again, the unlimited possibilities of both the seen and the unseen. Use your intuition, use your intuitive skills to expand your potential realities. You are visionary. That's why you're you're finding this video in the first place. If you're watching this, um, that's why. Isis, accept life's impermeant nature and embrace the grieving process. We have the Apache tears. I welcome the transitions that occur as a natural part of life. That's the grace and how we're getting through this time. I adapt to my changing environment. I learn much from the experience of change and I assist people who are challenged by changes. And that is why that if you're seeing this, you're being divinely used to assist people who are challenged by the changes. Um, Cause you're very tapped in, you're channeling courts. You're literally a conduit of this goodwill, of divine wisdom, of um, divine love right now. And, and literally assisting people who are challenged by the changes. Um, so this is a really to the point reading for those who may find this video that they're saying that right now we're being supported by the angels to be more of the divine feminine energy receiving of being a pure divine channel of light and love, literally, 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 um, literally a channel of love, light and well-being because you're here right now to assist people who are challenged by the changes. 
because we're we're getting it so directly and clearly we're having an easier time or we're getting the wisdom the balance all of this whatever you're getting and receiving as the divine feminine energy like that goodwill the nurturing the comfort from your divine connection let it feed you and then pour out in your work in your personal and everything else because what they're saying is if you're watching this um you are a channel of love, light, and well-being, and you're being used right now, like how I say, you're being divinely used to assist those people who are challenged by the changes. Um, yeah, because that that's just what the message is. And this has been a recurring message, but I've never had card for card support exactly what I get on the side. But this is very clear what they're saying. Look at the clear, the clear it's very clear. Our clear abilities are very clear. Your divine connection is very clear. You're supposed to be a divine channel of love, light, and uh, and well-being, and then be there for yourself, nurturing and comfort, and, and of goodwill, pour it out to other people as a divine extension, as a, a divine channel. Um, and we're being supported by the archangels to handle this period with grace. Um, you know how to hold your energy you're highly intuitive right now this is a, so you're being used in that fashion um so this is the messages these are the messages that wanted to come out from the angels archangels and saints uh for february how we're all being divinely used and to be more of that divine feminine energy um in an act of goodwill uh, your energy should be outpouring in a way that is nurturing and is of comfort and um you're definitely assisting others at this time. See how clear this is? And it's like, then you're helping others to get to get through this time more clearly or, or easier, or, you know, where they're having more challenges. And this could be in your work. This can be in your relationships. Like I said, this could be a kind word. This could be listening to your friend who's going through a hard time. This could be making things better in some way with what you're doing in the big or the small, in the private, in the, you know, in whatever way um but we've all been blessed with this intuitive divine guidance uh off the charts so that we feel more connected we're guided and um it's just been a recurring message and you're being divinely used right now and there's no doubt about it um i'm a channel of love light and well-being and let's just go in here i assist people who are challenged by changes um, that's what they're saying. So this has been the reading for the angels, the archangels, and the masters, mystics, and saints for February. Take care. Bye-bye.